Welcome to PFPX Tutorial First Steps. Today we would like to introduce you in PFPX for easy entry. We will go through the installation and activation process. Afterwards we will make our first domestic flight planning. Start the installation routine. First you can select your language if available. At the welcome screen select next. Then you have to accept the license agreement. Read it carefully. You will need administrator rights. Thereafter you can change the installation path if needed with the change button. The overview shows your selections. Next we'll start the installation. Now you can choose to install the Aerosoft Launcher Setup, a small tool if you have other Aerosoft products. After starting PFPX the first time you will enter the activation process. You have two options, online instant activation or offline activation by phone or email. For online activation enter the product key and press continue. For the offline activation you have additionally to tag the activation by phone or email box and continue. A new window will open with the generated activation number. For offline activation via phone, you have to call the displayed phone number within German working hours. The support team will ask for your product key and activation number. When you activate your PFPX copy for the first time, you can choose your first and last name. This name will be connected to the product key and it is not changeable anymore. For activation via email, you have to send all information, product key, generated activation number and your name to the Aerosoft support desk. The support team will provide an activation code. Type the code in the activation code field and OK will initialize the activation process and the program will be unlocked. First you can manage your basic program options and the layout settings for your own convenience. Most of the default settings are optimal for common users. When you switch to full screen mode, sometimes the window settings are not optimal for use. Therefore we offer the Reset Windows option. You will find this in the upper right corner in the Style drop-down menu. For perfect use you need an active internet connection to update weather, node terms and the organized track system informations. In my example the weather is offline. I show you how to set it to the online mode. Now we begin with the flight planning. First of all I'd like to show you the action button. Here you will find always the next logical working step which can be done by just one click. We start with that flight. In the next window we insert an airline code. In my example, Evelyn. Then a call sign, departure and arrival airports can be inserted with the four letter ICAO or three letter IATA code. An additional search function is also available. The commercial flight number is optional. Then press save. The next step is plan flight. We see the message no aircraft in database and the next logical step will be offered. Aircraft database. Here you can create new airplanes from our database. As a special service we made a lot of templates for common add-ons. When selecting new from template you can choose from a list for example PMDG 737NGX. Now you only have to determine a registration for the plane. All data can still be modified. Here I change the seat capacity to 186. When finished select save and then save as aircraft. Now I have to press apply to confirm that I choose the Delta Alpha Bravo Alpha Whiskey. The symbol beside the aircraft will turn green to show that all necessary data entries are done. Next up is the payload. Default is random payload. 
but with the button non and maximum you can also select no or full payload by one click. In the payload section the payload can also be modified or inserted manually. Next is routing. With quick find route the shortest route under consideration of the runways in use will be created and shown in the right map window. Now we are coming to the alternates. As default the alternates with the lowest fuel burn will be selected. You also can choose one of the four offered airports. Or insert your favorite in one of the fields and then select it in first alternate. Route finding options to the alternate is also possible. Now computes of flight. Especially when flying online with VATSIM or IVEO, a CFMU conform flight plan is necessary. PFPX can check this for you. Press validate and a new window with your current flight plan will show up. By pressing validate the flight plan will be checked and possible errors are shown below. My flight planning is finished. Under details you will find a short overview of fuel calculation and flight time. Under OFP you will find the whole operational flight plan. ATC shows you the ATC flight plan and in weather and no terms you will find when online connected all data for your departure destination and alternate airports. By pressing a release, the flight will be transferred to the schedule. Now I can print my flight plan package. In the dialog you can choose any part to print individual to save paper. At least I would like to show you the export function of PFPX for several add-ons. This function gives you the opportunity to export your flight plan to a flight simulator add-on with an FMC or MCDU flight plan import function. First of all, you have to define the root parts of your flight simulator. Afterwards select your listed add-on and insert a name and press apply. Be aware, some add-ons need a special syntax for the name, like in real life departure and arrival route will never export it. You also can send the data to Topcat, this requires a full version of Topcat uh, or to the web formula for Watsim for flight filing. This is the end of PFPX tutorial for steps. We hope you enjoy your product a long time. We will regularly publish short tutorials above several advanced functions like long-range planning of PFPX. So take care and thank you for your attention.